Hello, my name's Jack and I'm the Conservation Officer at the Old New Wildlife Trust. Today I'm going to be using my recreational time to complete walk number five, Old New Community Wooden Trail put together by Visit Old New. Uh, the trail will last about an hour and a half and is around three miles long. Let's go. When you try and repeat the walk yourself, make sure to look out for this fern. And this fern is called heart's tongue. Um, it's called heart's tongue because the old uh, English word for deer was heart, and apparently this looks a bit like a deer tongue. Uh, if you turn over the leaf, you can see these thing, little horizontal lines called sora. And this is where the spores of the fern uh, mature before, before um, being released in July, August time. Now this plant is particularly uh, useful medicinally and is used in a variety of um, drugs and cosmetics including cough medicines and treatments for high blood pressure. It's a really beautiful fern so make sure to look out for it. As we reach the bottom of the valley, look out for some of Oldney's tallest trees. These are grey poplars, which is a hybrid between aspen and white poplar. We're now about 200 metres up from point 10 on your map. This is a turn off to Oldney's community woodland, an important site for woodland regeneration on the island. Back in 2009, the Oldney Wildlife Trust, the States of Oldney and the Oldney Society worked together to help begin the process of regenerating this area. Between 2010 and 2013, over 10,000 trees were planted, doubling the woodland cover. As we continue through the walk, make sure to check out the information boards along the way to learn some more about the woodland. The woodland is made up of a mixture of semi-natural and natural broadleaf woodland and planted coniferous woodland. This area here is an area of planted coniferous species made up of maritime, Corsican and Monterey pines. As you move through the woodland you may spot the old tree guard. This is where we've replanted native species such as ash, holly and hazel, just to name a few. Thanks to the countless hours put in by our conservation volunteers, many of these tree guards have now been removed thanks to the trees beginning to establish. However, there's still much to do. If you're interested in joining our conservation volunteers, check our website for more details. We've now taken a short detour to the top of observation bunker. This is my favourite viewpoint within the community woodland. Check out the wildfowl sitting on the 40 million gallons of water held in the reservoir below. If you take a moment to look through our willow viewing sc screen built by our conservation volunteers, you might see the likes of wrens, blue tits, great tits, chaffinch or blackbirds. And in the summer, you might be lucky enough to see white throat, black cap or chiff chaff.
As you walk down the hill from the big satellite dish towards Blanchard's, you move through an area of more established woodland. If you look in the understory, you'll see plenty of this plant. Now this is stinking iris, or also known as roast beef plant. Why? Because if you crush it, it gives off a meaty beef smell. It's one of two native species of iris to the British Isles, and it's best to see it in flower between May and July. The Odney Community Woodland is a great area to spot moths and butterflies, particularly as it warms later in the year. Make sure to look out for the likes of the large tortoiseshell and the dark green fritillary. As we've been coming through today, we've even seen a peacock already active. That concludes walk number five, the Olney Community Woodland Trail. Have a go and let us know how you get on. See you next time.